A los pocos días de haber terminado de pescar estoy yendo a entrevistar a Maquena, que es la única o casi única capitana de entre todos los botes pesqueros, Chainers. Así que bueno, vamos a conocerla. Fisherman. You're the skipper, no? Yep, I am the skipper of a commercial fishing boat in southeast Alaska. So my father was a commercial fisherman, so I grew up on his boat. I would come spend a little bit of time with him every summer up in Alaska for my entire life. And when I was 17, I started working for him and realized it was a pretty cool job and worked for him every summer since. I did 12 summers on the boat wow. before I took over and started being the captain. So McKenna, would you like to do this all your life? Well, I like to do this all my life. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? I don't know yet. Right now, I like it a lot, so I'll do it for a little while, but I also like to change things up. Okay. I like doing new stuff and I like learning new things, so. Do you have any idea? what you would like to do? I'm going to keep fishing for a while. I also work as a professional skier. I spend my winter skiing for photo and film and traveling the world. So that's my off-season job. Okay. And in the future I will be doing somewhat of a combination of fishing and skiing. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> This is your second year? As a um, captain? Kind of. This is my first full season as a captain. Last year I took over for the last three weeks of the season. Three weeks? Yeah, so I only did three weeks last year and okay. then this is my first full season. Okay, did you have any mentor helping you to start? I did. I had a good friend of my family's come up and run the boat for most of last season and he taught me taught me so much. Okay. I sat up in the wheelhouse with him almost all summer and watched everything he did and he, he taught me all I know. It's interesting being one of the only women in a men's job. You know, I think there are 300-ish um, 300 boats? 300 ish boats doing what we do, and there are three female captains. Oh my god. So it's, there aren't very many of us, and it's a pretty recent thing for the women to kind of step up and take over. It's been cool. I've had, I've had a lot of support. Yeah. Where support is, it is there in excess, and people are really excited to see a woman step into this role. I have received a lot of respect and help. Wow. But then there are also the hard sides of it. You know, um, some people are not as supportive. And some people, you know, see it as an excuse to take advantage. Think they can, you know, kind of walk all over me because maybe I'm a little bit more nice and friendly and easygoing. But, you know, there's a balance with everything. Ultimately, it's been an incredibly positive and empowering experience. Uh, what would you like advise to the women that are in a weaker position right now in their jobs? Go for it. Think about what you want and go for it. And the biggest hurdle is the biggest hurdle to overcome is the fear of failure because that's pretty crippling. And if you f go for it and you fail, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So go for it, and most likely you're going to succeed.